is equal to m cos theta. Okay. And you have another component. And this component over here is our my. And my is equal to m sine theta. Okay. So I'm going to copy my across to the centroid. So this is our my acting on the center. Okay. And we use right hand rule. We know that my right is in this orientation. Right hand rule. Okay. And mz, if we use the right hand rule, mz is in this orientation. Okay. Now, if you find this confusing, it's normal. Okay, I also find it confusing. So, in your test, right, it's face to face. You got no one to ask. You ask me, is this positive and negative? I will come to you and say, I can't tell you. Okay. So, my advice to you is this just draw this. Okay. I don't know, have I taught you this? Probably not. Just draw this arrow, right? And just draw compression and tensile. Right? So just draw this on a plain piece of paper. Then in your exam, what you should do, okay, you should rotate the diagram. Okay, so this one I'm going to rotate towards the right. So in your exam, you just, you, you get what I mean? You just draw on a piece of paper and you just rotate your what? Your paper, yes? So I do this again, copy, paste, and then I rotate again. Why I'm teaching this? Because every time, even when I was young, I have problems. And then you copy. I'm doing copy and paste because you are online. I cannot show you rotating of the paper. And then we rotate right again. Right? So you just rotate your paper. Like for this case, I, if I go to the Z, it's the same, right? Compression and tensile. Yes or no? Right? And then if you have this one, you know which is uh, this one. I did not group it. So in this case, you just take the whole thing, you know what is compression and tension. Okay, so this is the easiest way. Okay, so now I put that this is uh, compression for MZ, and below is tensile, and the ping, this is compression, and this is tensile. Okay. So why do we call it unsymmetrical loading? Okay, why? So I'm going to, the, the, the first reason why first is uh, when, when we apply load or apply moment, is acting on two axes, i.e. M, Z, and M, Y. Okay. The structure is under unsymmetrical Okay. Now, 
This is a lot of words, but physically what it means. Okay. So if I call this point alpha, I call this point beta, I call this point I, and I call this point what? J. Okay. So we are going to draw a table. We'll sketch a table. So over here is your point. We have alpha, point alpha, point beta, point i, and point what? J. Okay. And then we are going to focus on moment. I'm going to change color moment due to the Y. Right. And then we are going to do moment due to the Z. Okay. And then we're going to draw a line. Okay. I want you all to tell me now, okay? At point alpha, you all can see where point alpha, right? MY is going to be tensile or compression, anyone? Tensile, right? Okay, pause the At beta, MY is going to induce tensile or compression. compression. At point I, MY is going to uh, induce tensile or compression. Point I. Compression. Hmm? I I due to M Y. Hands out, you cheeky sort. 50, 50 as a friend. Unbelievable. Look at the pink. <laughs> I use different color for a purpose. How yeah, but when you flip when you flip the arrow, that was why I went by. Like when the arrow is pointing down, it's compression on, on that side. But never mind. That's on the pink. We are looking at M Y. Hello? Focus on the pink. Okay? So J is going to be what? Compression. Tensile. Compression. It shouldn't be tensile. J. M Y. Okay, so why is compressive? J? Yes. No, like why is it compressive? Because, because we are because M Y is acting on this axis. The left side of the pink of, of the yellow axis is going to be tensile. The right side is going to be compression. Okay, so 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 if we take M Y and then consider I, then it will be compressive, isn't it? I is tensile. Point I is here. This is what? Mm. Hello? Yeah, okay, it's tensile, okay. Ah, so, so going we're going by the by the sketches that you drew on the right. So when we're considering I and J, don't we flip um MY? Which would make I compressive and J okay. tensile. I don't think I don't think you are aware of the rules. Okay. Watch this, okay? Uh, that diagram is too messy now. I'll draw it again. Now we are focusing on the pink. The pink is MY and is rotating this way. Compression and tensor. Any point on this side is going to be compression. Any point on the left side is going to be what? Tensile. Yeah, so just, just one question here. Why no, we are taking no, MY? Okay. I call this alpha. 
I call this I call this point alpha, I call this point beta, I call this I, and I call this J. Now, don't ask me anything. I want you on your own to find alpha, is it tensile or compression due to MY? Beta, is it tensile or compression due to the MY? I, is it tensile or compression due to the MY? And J, is it tensile or compression due to M1. Can you all do it now? Uh, yes, sir. So now I understood. But like, so when I was saying I is compressive, I was taking a uh, uh, MZ. Actually, I, I was looking yeah, into. Yeah, I'm focusing on, on MY. Why? Why, you, why are you controlling my class? You want to teach now? You cheeky sort. <laughs> no, okay, it makes sense now. Like, it no, makes sense, sense now. Then you're confusing everyone, and everyone down here confused, and I'm also confused, right? Okay. No, I'm not trying to confuse anyone. I'm just no, trying. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, are you clear now? Better now? Make sense now? Okay, that's why I, I enforce this. Make y'all look at the what? Moment vector. If you apply formula, you are going to be really, really what? Lost. Okay, now I will do the same because the diagram is very, there's too much stuff in the diagram. I know. I don't want to make you confused. Because I want all of you to pass your term test. I don't want to mark correction anymore. If I keep on marking correction, I think I'll go crazy. Yes or no? <laughs> you say, oh yeah, right. So this is now our MZ. Okay. Our moment vector, compression, tensor. Okay, then I'm going to call this alpha, beta, i, and j. Now, can you fill it up on your own? Okay, do on your own. Okay, I will not say anything. I give you 30 seconds. Yeah, compressive is negative. Okay. So when you add both MY and MZ, or, 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 so if we use the M to find stress X, okay, to find stress X, the formula is equal to MY over IYY, right, multiplied by Z plus or minus mz over izz multiplied by y okay that's the formula so when we go do stress z or stress x right we realize that at point b you're going to have maximum hold on i have to move this Okay. So when we calculate stress X, we realize that point B will be maximum compression, right? And point I will be maximum what? Tensile. Okay. And what we realize is this. Stress X at point alpha will not be the same and stress x at point beta and stress uh, stress i x at point i 
will not be the same as stress X at point J. Okay, it will not be the same. When this is the case, it is where we call unsymmetrical. So alpha and beta will never be the same. I and J will never be the same. There's nothing to be what? Symmetry about. Yes. Right? So if we were to go back last week, or not last week, before reading week, right? This is before reading week. Right? If you look at symmetry loading, this is symmetry loading, yes or no? Right? Alpha is equal to beta, I is equal to what? J. Right? This is what we call symmetry loading. And symmetry loading is only possible.